With Ursa Luna now banned from UU, Pechorunt stands out now as potentially a very, very good Pokemon. It was already really annoying. The dude's just, I mean, look at these stats, man. Obese. <laughs> Obesity. But Ursa Luna was one of the best checks because I'm a poison ghost. And if it was Guts, I couldn't ever do my poison puppeteering nonsense. So now, looking like a much better Pokemon, we're going to try and ravage my opponent today with some wonderful, wonderful time. So this dickhead goes for spikes immediately, but you know what wouldn't be mean? If you subscribe, <laughs> of course, I'm on my way to 10k subscribers by the end of the year. I would appreciate your support. Shoutouts to Arvin. Shoutouts Glitchx City. As we beat down that mule already with our scarf. Hoopla! And now I'm gonna calc something, because if I one-shot this with Terra Dark, I think that's quite good. It's Ogre Pond. So they could Terra themselves. Were they to Terra, they would obviously lift the hit because Ogre Pond gets a defense boost. See, look, I'm learning. That's not the set I meant to take. Like I said, we're on the way to 10k subs by the end of the year. We've been getting a lot of support lately, so hey. All y'all people that like support the channel, come on out. Now, of course, the question right here is in part, do I Hyperspace Fury this and just say I'm K KOing you? Or do I play it a little safer? It's like, I definitely, I think I can just go Tinkaton. I don't need to risk them terastalizing too, as they SD up, so they definitely would just let me kill them. As they are stomping Tantrum, they're the Robbie attack. Ah, uh, I need a T-Wave to the fist. I think need a hammer. Yeah. I thought about rocking up there because I knew they'd switch, but it's like... They're gonna Aqua Step here, which is kind of annoying. They get the speed boost. And if I... What's it called? I think I have to go into Petron. Okay, they flip. Which is really weird. But it is what it is. Hoopa comes out now. It does suck that my Tinkaton's almost dead. I don't really need to preserve it at this point. So we're just going to use it to sack. They hyperspace fury me. They're probably Scarf, as they all are. I respect Keldeo. Fun Mon, Fun Mon. Secret Sword would kill this 20 times over. Surf would do nothing. And unfortunately, they have Secret Sword switching, so I don't really want to go into that. I could risk a speed <laughs> Oh, that'd be really funny. I'd love to get spikes up, but, uh, it's kind of tough. I think I do have to just go Keldeo here, which is unfortunate. Hmm. My two-shot? I'm not, unless they Terra. I think I can Surf. Yes, yeah, so they go Basque Legion, they're Air Balloon. I don't know what that runs, or what that's for, but that's interesting. Maybe it's an Excadrill check? Is I going to Surf again? Get my chip. They're not going to kill me with this attack. We just get a lot of chip on this. So they go back to Hoopa. They can threaten me with a Zen Headbutt. Crit there is also just generally always nice. Quaquavel comes out. Am I getting Terra Blasted here? I'm gonna go Fortress. This just keeps flip turning. Help! Why is he flip turning every time? <laughs> oh, they got to an Amorous here. I mean, they're definitely looking for the setup. I'm gonna Volt Switch on out. Ah, they kill me Mystical Fire. I thought for some reason they just set up because I'm a fortress. Like, what do I even do to you? <laughs> uh, a bit of a misplay there by me, for sure, for sure. Got the thunders here. Hmm. If they Terra, they're weak now to my moves. We're just gonna Thunderbolt. Shoutouts to this for deciding to uh, go over to the next video, by the way. Even with the loop on. Ogre Pond comes out, though. I'm gonna hit a focus. Hit. Please. I'm begging you. It's so it's so sad. I would've gotten rid of Ogre Pond right there, man. Uh, that's really unfortunate that we missed. I think I want to keep this around still. Because I need it to pressure the Enamorous. Yeah, that miss is, um, dire for me. Keldeo's two-shot. So I don't want to go to it. Also, because my Keldeo is looking like it's going to be able to just sweep their team with Surf in short order. Petrarun wouldn't be bad either, though. Like, if I Terastalize, does this even two-shot me? 
Continue your nasty plot. I've actually got defense on mine. I'm at 115 or 415. Good lord. Let's see. 88. And then if I'm, um, Terra grounds, like, my Terra. This is how much it does without them terrestrializing. Like, I'm eating up hits. Which is pretty good. Being a ground type, though, is bad versus those two. Like, I have to sack Hoopa. And then go into my Keldeo. I just throw off a Surf. And I, I kind of have to hope for a roll there. Okay, they switch anyway. If they go up to their Hoopa, I think I have to Terra. And then just hope. A Quavel comes out. I'm gonna stay to Surf. I'm tired of this dude. Yeah, this is what I'm tired of, bro. They've been flipping the whole dang game. I don't like that they have a sack. That's really the one thing that's annoying about Ogre Pond not being down. They have that extra sack, and I'm uh, not a huge fan. An Amorous T comes out. I think I actually have to just surf this. Yeah, because the thing is, if I don't do this, it may just beat me down long term. I do sack the Quaquavel. Hoopa Unbound comes out. Um, I mean, I don't really have a play other than stay in, right? I can Volt Switch. If I live. Oh, I just die. That's hilarious. I have to Terra. I am faster than Ogre Pawn. Because, um... How much special attack am I at? 212? God. Wah, wah, wah. Um, how much damage am I doing with Malignant Chain? Malignant Chain. 25. That's so sad. But I think we Terra here? And you hit him with the chain. But now I have to recover. Which I potentially could stall this... I could potentially stall this thing out. The annoying thing is they still have their Terra. So if Enamorous is Terra Steel, I think I lose. Oh, and they... Okay. <laughs> well, my opponent just got a crit. So there's not really anything I can do about that. I think I played that game fine. I definitely outplayed them on the early turn, which is nice, but crit there is kind of, um, kind of stupid. It is what it is, though. Um, Hydron's kind of awful this game. Why am I facing Mandibuzz? No, ooh, I could poison it. And admittedly, I'm not sure Mandibuzz does a ton to me. This is like foul playing or it's um, knocking, and once I lose my item, it's kind of whatever. Hmm. Uh, I kind of like my own Thunderous as a lead. Yeah. Because I can just Thunderbolt turn one. If they want to knock me, it's whatever. I'm just Sludge Bomb on turn two. They know they're going to go after their Thunderous. And they're gonna sludge bomb me here, so I'm gonna go into my Tinkaton. Right, they're gonna sludge bomb me here, chat, right? I will say I don't hate Hoopa's matchup here just because my knocks are useful for these two goons. But um Koba's a little annoying. I can even just spam drain punch on this game with Hoopa. It's not the worst. I did 44. I mean I could try to win speed ties. I just don't think that's particularly smart of me, so I'm gonna go Tinkaton. Is there actually Dark Pulse? Hey, you ready to see this double? You ready to see this hot double? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> I could focus blast here pretty safely. My brother in Christ, dude. Can I hit this damn move? <laughs> Thunderous, please. I mean, I don't even know what to say. This guy stays in. Chat, is it over? Is it over, chat? Like, what What just happened? I missed Focus Blast. He stays in the body press, then he switches Torn. These are not, these are not serious plays. <laughs> I think we've lost this game too, guys. I don't know. I don't think I can come back from my opponent dodging all those moves. It's very hard. I'll try my best. I'm gonna set rocks. I'm gonna go Kabali, not Kabali, and Fortress. They. My opponent. They're starting to piss me off! 
I'm gonna set up a spike. I'm gonna just basically pressure them to waste turns, setting hazards. Spin that away. Yeah. Area from my body press is a volt. I don't like that that volt did 20, though. That's a lot. <laughs> What's their set, then? They're not max speed because my Thunderous was faster. It's very odd. I don't think that Mon really runs this type of VV. They go Mandibuzz. This is fine. They're looking to just defog here, so I'm actually going to waste a turn. I think you turn probably predicting me not want to let this get knocked. I'll set that up. I don't like this turn, because they could heat wave very safely. Go Keldeo. Okay, they Yude. I kind of was banking on the repositioning game there. With like, I don't know, I was trying to get Hoopa in, but this, oh, this mod's hard to play into. Though I did get um, good momentum, because now I have Keldeo out. Versus a team that's just slower than Keldeo. So it's actually kind of okay for me. Terra Electric too, so if this comes out, this is not exactly beating me very reliably. I could terastalize and then it looks pretty okay. This is winnable. You know what? No, chat, I've decided this is a winnable game. <laughs> we could actually come back from this. It's not gonna be easy, of course. They have a Cabalion alive when they probably shouldn't have one, which is it's rough, but I think we could I think we can manage. If they go Mandibuzz, I'm probably just gonna attack that. Like, I don't see a reason why it wouldn't. The question is, um, is Secret Sword better to go for versus it? Or is Surf? Like, we say, okay, they're mixed defensive, sure. Surf is actually stronger. I'm about to rip a Terra Blast Electric and smoke this thing's entire pack. Quack Quavel. Secret Sword does 80? Oh, get out. Keldeo Obliterate. Get this, get this fraud off my screen. Get this dancing duck on out of here. So, we get rid of Quackwable. That's pretty cool. And I think from here, they, I mean, do they go Thunderous or something? Because now I also have free Surf to spam, which is really good. Obviously, Tornadus can switch in, but it should be getting to it KO'd. Let's see, Tornadus T, how much you taking, fam? Um, you, you pivot? Yep. Uh, Surf? Yeah, Surf two shots after rocks. Secret Sword actually does as well. Enough damage, but I'd rather preserve it, I think, for now. They're gonna Bleak Wind here. I guess I go Tinkaton. I'm trying to think of how I can sack Pokemon most efficiently, by the way. <laughs> I hope that's being conveyed. I'm gonna throw off a Thunder Wave. Because if they stay in with this and let me T-Wave it, then we're in a good spot. I'm a little worried about low kicks, but I should have enough to beat it. Okay, the U are they going into Thunders. It'd be a very good play. If they do, don't make that play. No, no, no. Go into Mandibuzz. Go into Mandibuzz. You want to go into Mandibuzz. That's actually okay as well. Now I'm gonna go back into my Fortress here. And I'm actually gonna Volt Switch. This is actually really good for me, because now I get Keldeo out, and I just get to throw off Surf. The only annoying thing is Torn can always U-turn on my Keldeo, if they want to, um, respect the threat of me terastalizing or something. Logix comes out. There's no way this kills me with anything. Hello? Am I underestimating the Tinted? It did also take Rock, so we know it's not Boots. If it's banned in low kicks, it would kill me here. I'll go Tinkaton. I'm kind of just worried about this. He also goes for first impression. Switch, I get a knock. Um, I'm just going to throw off a Thunder Wave now. And yeah, you can do that. I'm getting rocks right back up. I literally just went to pressure like, low kicks. Actually, I think I just go hard Keldeo now. Did I just throw off the Spec Surf? Because he has nothing to switch into this. You can go Torn. And they do stay in. Oh, yeah, this is fine. I know Torn comes out now and it tanks too, but this is fine for me. They can Bleak Wind now. I 
I think they're, um, I don't think they have Heat Wave. Also, I can kind of just consistently play for a full para in these sequences. Yeah, so they get fully paralyzed there, and now their Torn has to switch in with Rocks up too. So instead they sack that. Part of the, I, also, I probably should be calcing the um, damage low kicks did, but I don't really care. I'm gonna sack 40 now. Now I get Poopa! Poopa gets to come out now and just get a KO with big hyperspace fury. Look at that. The fury of space. Thunders can be sacked. I don't need it anymore. It leech life, so this is definitely um banded. Let's go back into Poopa. Sucker wouldn't kill anyway. And that is Jover. GG. Beautifully done. Good. Yo, Keldeo put in insane work that game. Keldeo put in insane work. He just pressured his team really, really effectively. And he didn't have a really good water switch in. His only resist was, I believe, a quark, right? If I'm remembering his team, which I just saw two seconds ago, but <laughs> leave me alone. Oh, this guy's, I think, this is like an old sample team, if I'm not mistaken. Because Mian Xiao isn't good in this tier at all. I think that's an old sample. Interesting. Hazards can go up and they're here to stay, which is huge. I kind of want to just leave. I'm leaving Fortress. Guys, I'm the worst player ever. Why didn't you tell me not to lead Fortress? You're supposed to be watching out for me. Well, that's an, that's an unfortunate lead. I do want to keep this around just for Mammoth Swine. It probably helps check that, you know. I, I could definitely greed for a spike here, but at, at what cost? <laughs> probably the entire game. And that's not to say Mambo still won't do a million to me. Like, if we look at... That, that, not Goratris, I mean Foratris. Foratris. Um, yep, yeah, wonderful. Thank you. And we go to Mamo Swine. You, you Wallbreaker. As you can see, I... Oh, oh, Joel. I'm so sorry for lying to you all. My opponent's taking five years to decide their time. I'm gonna go Hoopa. Yeah, they do heat wave me. I could knock the Tink. As my opponent just stays in the vault. Vile. But we get this thing's boots, so that's really good. Now if I get my rocks up, it's actually going to be pressured. Miss Shao comes out here. I do have a Petron. I will be utilizing Petron to switch into the Pokemon that is not going to hit me with CC. As Hydrapple is entering the fold. Hey, this mod's kind of scary. I'm faster, though. That's fine, I think. I did that just in case my opponent did decide they weren't gonna be smart. Um, they did Terra. I just want to see if Keldeo kills. Guys, Keldeo doesn't kill if he's fully physically defensive. Lord help me. Oh, they Earth Powered immediately? Okay. This might be over already, Chad. I'm sorry to say, your goat may be washed. Yo, I didn't think he just burned Terra like that, though. What if I switched? What are you doing then? Oh, well. It's okay. I can still see a line to win. And frankly, Petron may just have to be how we win this game. The problem is there is a Mammoth Swine. If I Terra ground with Petron, we might be able to win. It depends on what Skull King does, frankly. My opponent switches out and my Secret Sword. I'm just going to go for another. I'm surprised I didn't go Slow King though. Like that that is always a safe scout, you know? The question is when they go King, do I stay in and predict the chili reception or do I switch fearing for a T-Wave? It, it is not exactly an easy question to answer. I I hate that turn one I wasn't able to spike up. They led very well with Zapdos. Yeah, because now they go into this and it's like, I don't want to stay in. It's like a thunderous. Okay, and I was smart to do this. I'm just gonna Thunderbolt, because if they go hard Mammoth Swine, we've, we know we can go Fortress. Also, Fortress kind of checks that guy at least. And yeah, because I know T-Bolt's gonna do a million. <laughs> hey, y'all wanna see a calc? 
Let's let's learn something real quick. Let's learn something real quick. Do I not ice shard? You're gone. I like to live loose. Yay! We hit that one finally. I finally had a focus blast, guys. Let's go. I'm not washed. As this comes out. I don't really know what it's gonna do. If I just go into you. Hey, spinner. Yep, that's certainly one of the moves he could have gone for. Bolt switch now. Yep, Drapple comes out. Um, I'm gonna go Keldeo and I'm gonna Secret Sword. The Slow King probably takes a million. Oh, that just dropped. So whatever EVs the Dex had, they were very inaccurate. <laughs> the Dex was fully physically defensive. This guy, no. Not, not him. Not him. So, nice one there. Petron's done nothing, but Keldeo has been incredible so far. And now we're facing this guy again. So that's interesting. Maybe this time I'll not get immediately crit by Hoopa. I would definitely appreciate that. I'm gonna lead Hoopa. I'm gonna Hyperspace Fury. Actually, I think I'm gonna knock instead. Knock turn one is just always safe. We can also learn what this thing's set was, because he kept flip turning. It was definitely... A little odd, because I had no clue what that meant. Is he, like, AV? Rocky Helmet. Yeah, that's interesting. He's gonna flip again here. I think I just go Fortress. I don't think this is a good set for this team. You know? <laughs> the cool thing, too, is he can't go Mew unless he's made it, um, some weird set. The Namers comes out. I want Hoopa here, because I want to reposition. Oh, that did 500,000. Yeah, that's not good. I also need to be um, using the move called Bolt Switch a little bit more. I've decided that might be smart. I do know I live a hit. Even if they um go for what's it called here. I live their tantrum, we saw. And since this is a Ogre Pond, they can't ever Terra either, which is nice. I'll try to get rocks up. Nice. I get my up. Just generally, that's useful. So this gets the wave crash here. I still think it's worth preserving thunders. It is faster than this mon and it can KO it. Might could just be able to check for wave, which is funny. Yo, I actually like Terra electricing with Keldeo this game too. But how do I want to play this turn out? Is it a Balloon Basque Legion? Like, what is that supposed to mean? What if I just say it's this set? 250... Oh, it's typing in letters. What if I say it's 252 Adamant? And then I go to, like, catch a runt. And then we remember 415. All the way up. Where's my investment? All the way up. How much do I take? I actually do dodge a two-shot from Wave. I guess I can go Petrunt, then make this take a lot of recoil. Then try to recover. Oh, we're faster than that? Oh my lord. Dude, what are you... What are your EVs? Oh, I get it! He's Scope Lens! That's why he crits every time. He's gonna go to Quaquavel here, so I'm gonna double the Thunderous. Now here I can just Bolt Switch. So that's chill. If he has Aqua Jet, then you got me, man. You got me with the Jet Quackwavel. The Jet Helmet Flip Turn Quackwavel. <laughs> you know, some things you cannot prepare for always. Now I go back to my Hoopa. Here, I'll give a ton of hammer. Oh my lord, I'm so good. I'm so good. <laughs> Red carded into Hoopa. And I can hyperspace this again, too. Got enough chip. Beautifully done. My opponent now has decided they're going to win the speed tie. But they're not. <laughs> this guy really, yeah, yeah, GG with all caps. I got my, I got my get back. That's how it's done. You lose to one guy early in a video. It doesn't matter. You know you're him or her or them. Whatever you want to go by is fine with me. I don't care. 
from that guy though, man. I've been telling y'all. Respect me. Respect Fortress too. This mod was okay. <laughs> I mean, like, it didn't really do a ton, but the one game I was able to set spikes in, it definitely felt really nice. And seeing that I was always able to be safe versus that Mammo, that was also pretty nice. Just the fact that EQ was like seldom a three hit KO even, kind of crazy. But I hope y'all enjoyed this. Keldeo might actually not be too bad in UU. I've been telling eternally. I was like, dude, I don't think Keldeo is that bad in this tier. I know Slowking's everywhere, but like... I was originally hyping up with like Flip Turn. Like, surely you just pair it with a Flip Turn mod, like, and it, or surely you Flip Turn into Hoopa repeatedly and you're just safe, right? <laughs> oh, you passed me the specs, team. It was really fun, though. I hope y'all enjoyed. That's Keldeo. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.